Ladies and gentlemen welcome to Enlight Info YouTube channel. For more video subscribe my channel. Ever wondered which movies didn't do well at the box office in 2023? Even the most successful franchises aren't immune to a box office bomb. It's a harsh reality of the film industry, where high budgets and high expectations don't always translate into high earnings. From unexpected flops to major disappointments, we're on a journey to uncover the films that didn't quite make the cut this year. So, without further ado, let's dive into the 10 biggest box office bombs of 2023. At number 10 we have The Haunted Mansion. This spooky flick may have haunted viewers but it didn't quite bewitch the box office, grossing a mere 67 million domestically and a total of 117.5 million worldwide. Coming in at number 9 is Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. Despite the fantastical premise, it seems this sea monster didn't make much of a splash, with a domestic gross of just 16 million and a worldwide total of 45 million. At number 8, the machine failed to power up the box office, earning a disappointing 10.5 million both domestically and worldwide. Landing at number 7, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny might have been a thrilling adventure but it didn't quite hit the treasure chest, with a domestic gross of 174.5 million and a worldwide total of 384 million. Halfway through our list at number 6 we find Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Despite the high stakes, it didn't quite hit the target with a domestic gross of 172 million and a worldwide total of 567.5 million. Halfway through our list and the box office numbers are already staggering. Moving into the top 5 we start with Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Despite the hype around the sequel, it only managed to pull in a domestic gross of $57.5 million, with a worldwide total of $134 million. Next up at number 4 is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. The tiny superheroes didn't make a big impact at the box office earning a domestic gross of $214.5 million and a worldwide total of $476 million. Speeding into the third spot is Fast X. The tenth installment of the high-octane franchise had a domestic gross of $146 million and a worldwide gross of $705 million. At number two, we have The Flash. Despite the popularity of the character, the movie only managed to generate a domestic gross of $108 million and a worldwide total of $270.5 million. And there you have it. The biggest box office bomb of 2023 was The Marvels. Even the star-studded cast couldn't save this one, with a domestic gross of $81 million and a worldwide total of just under $200 million. Despite these disappointments, many of these franchises have sequels planned. Let's hope they fare better in the future. It's clear that even with major franchises, box office success isn't guaranteed. The theatrical release landscape of 2023 showed us that unpredictability reigns supreme. So, next time you're heading to the cinema, remember that not all blockbusters are created equal.